Morning, everybody. This is a BR3 webinar presentation, an inhibitor and sequencer. We'll use a what you see on your screen here is a red spotlight. We'll use that to guide us through the presentation. And if any questions, we can have questions after we're done. Please stand by. BR3, the objective, summary of functions, programming, function 21 inhibitor, relay sequence function 25, 28, and 75, an inhibitor and sequencer function 22. The BR3 summary of functions, 10 is a time delay relay, 11 is a ratchet or latching relay, 21 is the approach sensor inhibit with door position input, 22 is a sequence with approach sensor inhibit. 25 is a two relay sequence. 28, two relay sequence with door position input. 29, two relay sequence with relay one deactivation timer. 35, three relay sequence. 50, interlock timer with door position inputs. 55, interlock ratchet with door position inputs. 65 two-way bi-directional two relay sequence and 75 is a two relay sequence. The functions highlighted in yellow will be the three functions that we will discuss in today's webinar. BR3, the module must be programmed to work. That's extremely critical. The module is uh, not programmed when you receive it, you have to power it up and program it to whatever function you would like to use. BR3 programming continued. The first program the function needed for the application in our webinar today, we'll use function 21, 22, or 25. Second, program a value to all applicable H hold or hold timers. If an H timer is left at zero, zero, the relay will not trigger. H1 equals R1 equals relay one hold time. Third, program any applicable D timers. If the D timers are left at zero, zero, all relays of the selected function will trigger simultaneously. D equals delay. So relay one would fire first. You could delay to fire relay two and or three. Oops. The most common VR3 tech call we get is because the timers are not set. The example, a caller calls, hey, I programmed it to function 25, but nothing happens when I trigger the module. That's because usually H1 was never, was never changed from 0, 0, the hold time for relay 1. Or H2 was left at 0, 0, hold time for relay 2. Or D1 is 0, 0, the delay to fire relay 2. So if H1, H2, or the third relay option would be H3, if either of those are 0, the default, they will not change when an input occurs. <coughs> BR3 programming. Number one, press and hold both push buttons, which are over here. INCR increase and PARAM for parameter. For three seconds, the display will toggle between FF and 00. You'll see it alternately flash FF00. Two, press in the INCR button to toggle through each function. A display of 21 corresponds to function 21, 22 corresponds to function 22, and etc. Number three, wait approximately 10 seconds for the display to stabilize and show the given function. Press the param button to cycle through the function's parameters. As each parameter is displayed, press the INCR to increase its value. Four, press the param to move to the next parameter. 
parameter button, that is. <clears throat> NP, a lowercase n, uppercase P, display. When selecting a new function as the display toggles between FF and 00, if you accidentally press the param or parameter button, first the display, let's go back. If you accidentally press the parameter button first, the display will show NP for no parameter or not programmed. Wait five to seven seconds, start again, and cycle through the functions using the INCR key. So in this example, we want to configure as a 25, a two relay sequence. Number one, press both buttons for three seconds. Press the INCR to cycle through to 25. Let it time out, let it stabilize as a, as a display of 25. Press the param to cycle to H1. Press the INCR till 03 is shown, three seconds for H1. From five here, press the param to cycle to H2. Press the INCR till 01 is shown, one second. So it'll be a one second hold for relay two. Next, press the param to cycle to D1, the delay between one and two relay one and two. Number eight, press the INCR until underscore two is shown, which is 0.5 or one half of a second. Nine, wait the five seconds for the display to go inactive and show a constant 25, you're done. ER3 programming continued, the jumpers, see the jumpers here, by default the BR3 is set to a dry output just a relay output. You may change this to a wet or voltage output. Before doing this, you must power down the module, otherwise you may let the smoke out. Additionally, you may select the wet output as DC or AC wet. This is dependent on the BR3 source voltage. In this example, AC would be your source or supply voltage to AC or DC output. The DC source voltage can only have DC output. We cannot invert DC to AC, but we can rectify AC to DC. F21 or function 21 inhibitor. A typical application would be a low energy door operator and you want to use a door mounted sensor for reactivation. And another example would be a knowing act door that uses a door mounted sensor. Since this application is classified as low energy, this requires a knowing act push plate. Activation device such as push plate or card reader. You're needing to install a reactivation device such as a super scan, but not sure how to coordinate this. Additionally, a door position switch is required. Function 21 continued. Function 21 provides an activation at relay 1 with an inhibitor of activation for input 1. Until input 2, input 3, or wet input is triggered, which all activate relay 1. Input 4 provides a door position switch input for which closing it will re-inhibit input 1. Adjustable H1 parameter for activation hold time of relay 1 could be the door control output. Function 21, approach sensor inhibit. Scenario 1, A, manually open, push or pull a door manually. The sensor, door mounted sensor, will not activate the door. Sensor will not reactivate the door. So in essence, when you manually push or pull the door, the sensor is not active forever. Scenario two, push plate is depressed. The door activates. The sensor, door mounted sensor, will reactivate the door until it is fully closed. So by pressing the push plate, enables the door mounted sensor to be active. So you would configure it as 21, the output for the uh, relay one, H1 in this example, five seconds since we typically have a five second minimum hold time 
for the door after release of the uh, activation device when the door gets fully open. So if someone does not use a push plate, the door will activate like a manual door. That's scenario one. An elderly person manually pushing the door could fall through if the sensor starts activating. Function 21 protects against this. So if this person's pushing the door open and they're not, we're not using a, a function 21 in this example, and this door-mounted sensor is active, and this person does not know it could, it's an automatic door, they push the door, not expecting the door to move open. They could lose their balance and fall. That's not a good thing. <clears throat> function 21, technical summary. What you see here, the drawing uh, instructions here is, is exactly what you'll see right out of the BR3 user's guide. So input one and ground is the input for the super scan, or in this case, the door-mounted sensor on the approach side of your door. Input two or three used for push plate input or other activation device. Could be a card reader as well, something like that. Input four and ground is for the door position switch. The switch is closed when the door is closed. The output, relay one, goes to your door control. Over here, we've got your source voltage, 12 to 24 volts, AC or DC, and that's a range, could be 14 or 16 volts. We have our jumpers in here, and then the uh, programming buttons here. Parameter button, H1, is the relay one hold time. Zero, zero is the default through 60, 60 seconds. Relay one hold time will not begin counting down until the release of an activation input. So if you give a, an input on two or three, if it's maintained, it'll have a constant maintained output. And the countdown timer won't start counting down until input two or three is released. Function 25 or function 75 is a two relay sequence. <coughs> Function 2575 provides a sequence for relay one and or relay two, triggered by an input one or the wet input. Scenario, push plate, you want to release a lock, a delay, and then activate a door. The door times out and closes. The BR3 allows time for the lock, strike, or mag lock to be released before activating the automatic door. Function 25 or 75, technical summary, exactly what you'll see in the user's guide. You have the option for a wet, a voltage input to trigger the output, relay 1 and relay 2. The wet input, 12 to 24 volts AC or DC, or simply a dry push plate type input. H1 is the whole time we know for relay 1. 0 through 60. H2, hold time for relay 2, adjustable 0 through 60. D1, the delay between relay 1 and relay 2. You have options here, underscore 1, quarter second, underscore 2, half a second, underscore 3, three quarter second. Otherwise, 0 through 60, the delay time will begin counting down with the activation of the sequence. <coughs> we have a new function. Previously, if you had a knowing act door with an electric lock and a secondary reactivation sensor, could be a door-mounted sensor, you needed two modules or two devices to coordinate this together. One module set to 21 to inhibit the secondary activation sensor when the door was closed, and a second module set to 25 or 75 to release the electric lock and then activate the door. The BR3 has combined these two functions into one. Function 21 plus function 21 or 75 equals function 22. It's not good math, but function 22 is these two functions combined. <coughs> function 22 sequence with approach sensor input. Inhibit, that is. Scenario 1. A, manually open the sensor, door-mounted sensor, will not activate the door. 
the sensor will not reactivate the door. So simply, scenario one is a manual door forever. You can push it or pull it all day long, and it will behave just like a manual door. Scenario two, press the push plate, you will release the strike, and then a slight delay, and then the door will open. And the sensor will be will reactivate the door until it is fully closed. Settings on the BR3 in function 22. H1 is a lock hold time, controller or door controller hold time, and a delay. Fire the lock first, then trigger the door. Combine the previous legacy models LE21 with MC25 functions. That's what this function 22 does. It combines these two modules into one. Function 22 technical summary. What you see here on the screen is exactly what you'll see in the user's guide. Input 1 for the super scan, door mounted sensor on the approach. Input 2 and 3 for the push plate. Input 4 is for the door position switch. And then relay 1 for your strike, mag lock. Input, or I'm sorry, relay 1, yeah, relay 2. And then down here at the bottom of the screen, hold time for relay 1, hold time for relay 2, D1, delay between relay 1 and 2. We've just shown this previously. Questions? Please stand by. Uh, contact BEA Technical Service at tech underscore services at beainc.com, or you may call us at 800 523-2462.